Hi, this is video three of the uh, cheese making videos series that I'm putting out there on uh, YouTube. How do you do, everybody? Uh, I just wanted to quickly, very quickly, go over the ingredients that I use for the uh, for the cheese, and it's very simple, and uh, in my opinion, very healthy, very nutritious, and uh, actually quite fun to do. Uh, to start with. Let's see. To start with, I make sourdough bread. And in order to have sourdough bread made the, uh, made the old-fashioned way, you have to make a starter for yourself. And no matter how you do it, whether you put yeast in there or you allow the wild yeast to uh, invade the, the batter, uh, the upshot is you need... For this, for this recipe, for what I'm doing, you need yeast starter. And what I have is the bread yeast that has been collected. This, in, in this case, it's wild yeast. Uh, active and uh, quite uh, bubbly and uh, actually smells a little like beer. And what I do is I stick this in the fridge and over time it forms... Uh, like a brownish liquid on top about a half an inch of brownish liquid on the top of this and that's my starter formula for the for the cheese and what I do is I take a, a, a gallon of milk uh, in my case I use two gallons almost all the time and I put it in a, a wide stainless steel mixing bowl flat uh, relatively flat uh, with a wide top to allow the air to get to it effectively and I put one tablespoon per gallon of milk of yeast starter uh, tea if you want to call it that into the into the milk and I put a good healthy pinch of sea salt in there and the, the sea salt is uh, it, it adds flavor and, and it uh, actually helps to uh, it helps the enzymatic action, in my opinion. I may be wrong, but it works for me. Anyway, when I get those three ingredients in the bowl, I give it a light stir, and I set it up on top of the uh, fridge to curdle. And the result is the, uh, the basic uh, curd. It's, it's like a cultured yogurt cheese, if you want to call it that. Uh, actually, it's it's fine to eat right at that stage, and you can eat it uh, in your salads. You can put it in your salad or uh, add it to oh, like a cold vegetable soup. I don't know, whatever the whatever the the nouveau culture out there does. But anyway, uh, that's the beginnings of what I use to make my uh, blocks of cheese. Anyway, I hope you like this video series and I hope you learned something from it. I don't recommend doing it this way. Uh, you got to do your own homework and try to gain an understanding of lacto-fermentation and keep in mind that what I use is pasteurized, homogenized, store-bought milk. Uh, I don't do it by choice but I do it by necessity because it's out there and I can't for I can't afford six or seven dollars a gallon for a raw milk and that's the bottom line so anyway hope you enjoyed it and there's more coming along in in time as I progress thank you have a good day